Howdy folks, and welcome back for the penultimate time to the Owl House. Today we're going to be watching Season 3, Episode 2, For the Future, for Flapjack, for Braxis, for Frodo, for the future. And the collector rhyme that I wrote for this one reads, One last time, before the end, we're reunited with all our friends. But will the world be fine as we head inside, be familiar or just the collectors pretend. A little bit of a limerick, I think, structurally there, but you know, still a poem, still rhymes. Uh, and I, I don't know, I, I have, just like last time, I have all the emotions going on. I'm excited to watch this, to, you know, see, essentially, like, you know, the, the distance to get to the end is just cutting it lower and lower each time. So now, like, if there's this much of the show left, I'm basically just cutting it in half, so. After this, there's just one episode. It's just so weird to think. Uh, like I was saying at the end of the last one, this, this show's been going on for so long on my channel. It's been such a big part of the growth of my channel, and I'm just, I'm gonna miss it when it's gone. I feel like I'm missing it already, which is silly because I have more than a full feature length film worth of show to watch. So I guess that's how I can think of it. I have essentially a, a movie that's gonna be in two parts, right? Uh, so, hey, I'm excited to watch, and I don't think I properly sold how good I thought the last episode was. It was super well-paced, super well-written. I really don't have any complaints with it. Uh, it was it was phenomenal, and I think at the end of it, I was just saying, like, yeah, that was pretty good. But, like, you know, in editing it, it was, it was difficult to figure out what to cut, because it was, everything felt important, and yes, there were a lot, long periods of time where it was just kind of give the characters a ch chance to breathe, to kind of chill for a second. You don't have to go boom, boom, boom with the plot or with jokes or anything because you have that longer runtime. And I think yeah, it's always interesting to see how shows adapt to different runtimes, like the, the first Steven Universe episode that was a full uh, 22 minutes instead of the 11-minute uh, structure was, I think, Bismuth in Season 3, which is, I think, the best episode of the whole show. Uh, so, hey, it's always just interesting to see how shows deal with this kind of format change, right? And especially with the, the shortened season, we now have pretty much a clear line of sight to the end. Both Belos is back in the Boiling Isles or whatever the world is. Like I said, uh, we could go to the other side of the portal and find a world that we just do not recognize because the, the Collector has like a, a, a done a cataclysm, done a, a, a death wing on it, right? To use a World of Warcraft term and just remade the world not necessarily in his image but to his liking basically right so i don't foresee this being pleasant <laughs> really uh the last episode while everyone was pretty melancholy and going through it there were still you know a lot of chill kind of fun moments uh i think those moments are pretty much done for the rest of the show uh, like I said, unless we just go to zany funhouse world that the collector made, right? So either way, uh, I'm super curious to see what Ida and everyone else is up to. I'm curious to see if Rain is alive or not. Hello, please. Uh, that I, I don't know if I said that in the last one, but how how hell was that to have to wait for that, right? To you know get the season one premiere, get none of the Boiling Isles people, and then have to wait another three or four months or whatever for the second one, and just not know the fate of Rain. Right, that sounds awful. Me, I had to wait like a week and you know a couple days, I guess. But uh, you know, in the grand scheme of things, not that long. So, hey, like I said, I'm excited to watch. I'm nervous. I'm happy. I'm sad. I'm everything here. Uh, but most of all, I'm glad that you're here. So I'm gonna scooch over here into position. Uh, and hey, I, as if I didn't just say that in the last sentence, thank you for watching. I appreciate you being here. If you haven't done so yet. And you're watching this one and haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you even doing? Uh, make sure you click the, the subscribe button, click the like button, leave a comment, let me know what you think of this episode. Uh, I've been hearing good things. Uh, it's funny, everyone on my Discord has been posting there. Join my Discord, by the way, there should be a link in the description of this video. Uh, everyone's been talking about their rankings for Season 3, whether it's like 1, 3, 2, one person said season, uh, Episode 2 is their least favorite, one person said Episode 2 is their favorite. Uh, Episode 1 was somebody's favorite uh, episode of the whole series. Someone else said Episode 3 is their favorite episode of the whole series. So it's just like, I, I can't I can't mentally put one above the other because I'm getting so many conflicting takes. And I kind of love that. Uh, that's awesome. It doesn't really leave me to anticipate one episode over the, the others, except for, I guess, the finale, because that'll be the last one. Uh, but hey, I'm excited. 
Uh, but if you really, really can't wait to see how this ends, uh, the final episode should be up on Patreon, should be up on channel memberships. Uh, so go click the join button or the link to the Patreon in the description as well. And the one last thing before we begin, uh, I have uh, in my armadillo mug, uh, seems fitting. I'm going to probably try to use this for the whole rest of the series here because it well, feels like it brings me good luck. Uh, I've got peppermint tea in here, uh, one of my favorites which the person who said that this is their favorite episode of the season said, I hope you brewed your favorite tea for the favorite episode. So I did, but with the caveat of the non-caffeinated teas. So as always, hey, what are you drinking? What are you drinking here for this while you're watching this reaction? And let's do it. Let's hop into Owl House Season 3, Episode 2 for the future. Starting up in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, so the Titan is still there, at least. Or are we going to pick straight up with this King time. here? I'm so happy also, there's no way for me to know exactly how much of this episode is going to be catching us up on what happened during 3x1. Or just, are we just going to go straight with Luz right into whatever they all see? It probably is. The Titan just goes, oh! We get rolls and go on adventures. But this is too crazy. We can't play if you're freaking everyone out. Houses and owls. <laughs> Look at Hella Hootie. What's happening? I can fly now! This friend you're talking to. Also kind of your only friend, but I guess by default. Oh no, we are getting insanity, aren't we? Oh no. Well, they're dead. I was gonna say. Sound in our new house. Ooh. Now, what part do I get to play? Is the collector the new loose? Okay, good. Rain is alive. Oh, we get a uh Eda's Requiem intro. Okay, we are just getting Eda's Requiem. I didn't know if they were gonna try to mash it up with the Owl House theme. Horns not thorns. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, we got we got it. We got to look at these all one by one. Okay, horns not thorns. I don't know who they are. I've never seen that 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 demon before. Uh, but we got shooting stars, and not too much I can glean from this one. Eileen, <laughs> what a name. Uh, there's Scara and some of the Hexide kids. Uh, looks like just more falling stars, cataclysm stuff. Oh, hold on, hold on. There's text on there. What are those things? Hashtag weird weather. Hashtag time to panic. Hashtag bye. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm going to be saying at the end of the next episode. Friendly neighborhood pointy head. Uh, ooh. Oh, no. They're just turning more stuff into eyes or puppets. Let's see if I can. Uh, I, I, I missed the top side of it. I probably put it in here in editing, but I see the bottom hashtags are hashtag hex side. Hashtag day of unity. Hashtag help. Daily knee views. That's awesome. Uh, oh, wow. Look at the Titan. God, I love all the colors that the collector brings, though. Like, it's just so cool. Okay, and there's no text for that one, so we're back in it. Oh, no. Fun. Wanna play? Oh, no. Eda's going full beast mode. That's scary. That was a cool intro. Of the oh, she's back in the cube dimension. Which I think somebody told me there's an actual name for it, but I don't think they've called it anything yet. It's just Luce was using cubes in that one episode. Yesterday's lie. Who was that up there? I'm I'm fine. I saw also I just realized Amity for the first time doesn't have black nail polish on her hands. Don't worry. I bet we'll all feel better when we punch Bellows right through the face. And yes, I mean through the face. Cause he's goopy. Your handle just kind of go right through, right? Oh. Kids, stand back. Who knows if that monster is alive or not? Actually, no, it's dead. The Titan skull is normal. Everything else is. Yeah, so we are entering like a world that we just straight up don't recognize. What's on top of the skull? Oh, it's like a tiara. That's I didn't even put that together at first. Answers in Bonesboro. After we rescue Ida and King, I'm staying in the human realm permanently. So we still do get a little melancholy loose. I mean, I guess it's natural that she's not going to straight up just change her mind. Ooh. There he is. 
I guess it's just natural that she's not going to fully change her mind. Uh, just because things went right one time. Ooh. That's the actual... Ca That's the actual Caleb, isn't it? Ooh, we're getting actual Bellow stuff here? A new body. Can he get one of the Titan? Titan Bellos? That'd be fucked up. There is no Titan. The Emperor's Coven was here. What does that say? Hold on. I miss I missed just one little thing I needed to read. Also, there are probably some others too, but I just need to go back real quick to see. <laughs> one just says bad word. That's awesome. Uh this one says kissing grass is that supposed to just be like their way of of trying to like put in something close to something like kissing ass uh you know it'd be really funny if they had like a uh they could do a gravity falls reference here and have like the the robbie's nuclear explosion muffin graffiti just right up on that tower would have been cool but uh uh also what owls are dumb <laughs> no i just saw that one on the door that sucks i hate that one uh, yeah, I think that's, uh, it looks like all we see in there, but yeah, the owl house has seen better days. It's not even an owl house anymore. It's just a house. There's no owl in it. It's just the hootie hole. I still haven't watched the hootie hole theory. Should I? I probably should. I'll probably watch that after I finish the show. I, d I don't want other theories, even though Bill was probably right. Uh, other theories to kind of cloud my enjoyment and own theory crafting of the show here. For the viewers. For the future, for the viewers. <laughs> Welcome to the Owl House. Aw. I love that game. My dad didn't care if I failed that project, but I didn't want to fail him. Aw. Oh man, I, I hope he's okay. Don't worry. We'll get him back. I'll make He sure. just might be a marionette right now. Oh, how are you feeling? Don't worry about me. You heard what Ooh. that said. I'm the reliable one. It's okay to be scared too. Yeah, they're it's not good if you try to hold it all in. They're focusing on Willow a lot in this I'm one already. Fine, really. That makes me afraid. You'll be fine too. Once again, that makes me really scared for Willow. Aw, wherever she walks, plants grow. The one thing that's left. A picture of them. Remember what the Bat Queen said. To connect with a palisman, you need to express your deepest wish. I want to, be I want to see. I wonder if we're going to get that. Friends, but doing one always seems to mess up the other. Wow. Why did this get so complicated? I wonder if we're going to get her palisman in this episode or the finale. Also, Amity's hand was very disembodied from her arm in that shot for a second. At least it looked like it. <laughs> oh, that picture. Oh, that picture sucks. I love it, though. Do you think instead of... It looks like a Sears, like, photo. But instead of Sears, do you think it's called Fears here? Kirby? Why didn't I wear my Kirby shirt with all this shooting star motifs going on? I thought she was going to throw up. Just like King. Yeah, I was going to say, that's not Earth. Hello, good sir. That's the nicest thing anyone said to me. Uh, there's the playground from like season one, right? Not the... Hold on, there's more graffiti. Gosh dang it. There's so much stuff just all around. Uh... Oh, it just says not Day of Unity. Uh, how did they write on the archway? That's bizarre looking. They, I mean, I guess it is a magical realm. They can write across space if, if they want to. Plus, with the collector in charge, anything is possible. Uh, I thought I saw one other graffiti, but I think it's in the next shot. Uh, it's a poster for the Day of Unity. It says, do not something the Day of Unity. Uh, I... Boo Bellos over there. Gosh, there's so much stuff. Just just the pausing for these is taking a long time, I feel like. Because it's not like, I feel like in the past you'd get, uh, you know, like with the wanted posters, you'd get like five or six in one shot. So it's like, okay, let me read all of them. And now it's like you get like two pieces of graffiti. I even see one that says hide that's pretty hidden. 
uh, in the poster there. So uh, editing this video is going to be really fun. In addition to the, in addition to the longer runtime, I got to cl clip out all of these little things and, and put them in the timeline. Yay me! Lamp. Something's coming. <laughs> Witches? Demons? No, it's sparkles. Sparkles. Oh, it is sparkles. Is it going to yossify the town? It did yossify the town. Let's go. Oh, is that all their friends? Dad? Oh, shit. This is fucking creepy. Is this him playing Owl House? Eat is the owl and the world is the house. So is that actually Ida or is it made up? It looks, I see stitches there. It looks, is it a costume? Oh, hooray. I'm back to normal. Is that Tara? What, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Tara in Ida cosplay? Also, who's playing Hootie in this? They could just end her right here. Play Ida the Owl Lady and I don't get turned into one of those things, right? Then... Let's just continue. Also, that little gut that she has. Oh, I like musicians. <laughs> Wait. Ooh. Oh, just toyified. I'm just playing pretend. Even. What did I say in my little rhyme? The collectors pretend. Hold on, I still have the notepad document open. Yeah. Will the world we find as we head inside be familiar, or just the collectors pretend? So they weren't even there. They were just delusions. The eyeballs on the ground are normal, but the little space cherub is the danger. <laughs> little space cherub. Bells look like they were playing a game. King must have told him about our adventures. Do All two seasons of them. We'll never make it. Hmm? Who? Hey. Yo! Look at them! Mad Max, Barkus, Matt, and Skara? Hell yeah! After the adults recovered, that's when the collector's spy showed up. Okay, so that's what they're calling them. Ooh. Team snuck out and tried to hold them back, but... but Grudge be so out, it's all about a uh, flyer derby now. Nah, sacrificing yourself for Basha? No, not Bump. Bump and the adults were turned into toys and taken away. We've been hiding here ever since. And somewhere along the way, I went from being Matholomew to man <laughs> Oh no! I hate it so much. God, he's falling in my tier list again. Also, I can't tell if that's actual facial hair or just an illusion or dirt from a construction site. Because he's doing construction stuff, right? Decorating these past few months, so let me welcome you to New Hexide. New Hexide. Hey, just a little Oracle moment there. <laughs> Kindergartner <laughs> turf. <laughs> Kindergartner turf. Where is he? Where's the boy? Nerds, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, t-shirts I gotta read. Also, I feel like I'm not even paying attention to anything that's happening because I'm just trying to find Braxis. I really hope I didn't miss him in the shot previous. I saw a little blanket for and and I was just like. I, I could have I could have possibly missed him, but I don't think I did. Okay, Bellos, more like blech, gross. Uh, collect this. Ugh. Uh, something with an H. It's covered up. I survived the day of unity. All I got was this lousy shirt, and then ooh, another collect this with a. I can't tell if that's a thumbs down or like a ugh, kind of like the uh, uh, boiling aisles version of the crotch chop, basically. Now that your mama's a puppet, it's time to eat that candy. Ah! Like candy. Nice. Yes! The boy! We got the boy back! <laughs> Camila's just like, he's my favorite one. He's mine too. It's so nice to see teachers getting the respect they deserve. Is it gonna be all... <laughs> oh, so he's... <laughs> He's, he should be shooting hoops. I'm glad he's he's moved on to other extreme sports too. No, human paper clips are not a good meat substitute. Have people been eating those? Oh no. Those are gonna hurt coming out the back end. Oh hey. 
Oh no! My Titan. What happened to him? Ed, you're gonna hurt yourself. Too late for that. My sister. <laughs> it's so painful looking. No, not Basha. He at least remembers those. Ooh. So he made it all the way back to the head. This is in the head, right? Has to be one left. Oh. Oh, is he gonna be in a a clone body? Is that the one that he was collecting ingredients for at the beginning of season two? With the Selkie Domus and everything? Oh, that's gonna be fucked up to see like two hunters basically going at it. I should probably uh, go check on the old owl beast. Maybe get her something to eat. I guess just real quick, from an animation standpoint, if he is gonna be in like a, a hunter, uh, Grimwalker body, I guess <clears throat> from an animation standpoint, giving our hunter uh, the new bigger scars makes him easier to see. Like if they're fighting, facing off with each other, like way easy to tell visually which is which, basically. Especially if if we're gonna get Zeno Robinson essentially doing like double double voice work for them, right? Uh, it could be, you know, essentially Hunter versus Hunt, Hunter x Hunter, Hunter Hunter. I've never watched that show. Is that show any good? Should I watch Hunter Hunter sometime? Like, if not even if for my channel, but just on my own. I don't know. Let me know. Random random recommendation time. Should I watch Hunter Hunter? Uh, I might be getting some of it here today. What do mortals eat again? Rocks, fire, grass. Paper clips. Welcome home, collector. No, fuck Did off. Also, what is he doing? We need to feed the owl beast. Mm, how about pizza bagels? I told you before, collector. Y'all in Discord were talking about pizza bagels tonight. Now I'm upset. Pizza bagels. <laughs> he is just a little child, isn't he? Oh, put these away. Drag those back to the collection room, will ya? Yep. Bye. That wasn't a very good bye. Can you read me a story? Oh my god. It's longer than Game of Thrones. Once upon a time. Oh, at least the pages are thick. Okay. The writing looks pretty Collectors big too. Live long, we watch things pass. To preserve, to observe. We must amass. Seal them up so that they never fade. Uh. But should they meddle in our affairs, we'll clean the planet and scorch the air? Ugh. But playing is more fun. But playing is more fun. Make friends instead. And the others stink. Boo. That doesn't even rhyme. So they... So they may never fade, but playing is more fun. That that doesn't even rhyme. Collector, what are you doing? So, okay. So, uh, lore drop here. So the collectors are a race. I know Kiki said in the last episode they, he, they come from beyond the stars or something like that. Uh, but it sounds like they're literally... So I guess we found out what they collect. They just collect living beings sentient beings it seems because it's you know there's still little critters and creatures roaming around here and there uh just turn them into puppets and and hang on to them that's that's rather dark should they meddle in our affairs we'll clean the planet and scorch the air yep that sounds that sounds rough i'm gonna make friends instead the others stink boo yeah doesn't rhyme you wrote a bad song, Petey. King, can I sleep with Francois? No, that is where I draw the fucking line, Collector. That way we won't have to fight over food anymore. Hmm. And then she just annihilates Gerbo. If I may be so bold. President? <laughs> this would take valuable resources away from your guard. Also, who you are you? You don't like the others, do you? Good point, Mickey. Next. Mickey? I love that even in the apocalypse, Basha just sucks. True F tier character. Wow, 
God Emperor Basha. Body President Basha and her trusted guards Mickey and Roca. Welcome to Oh, I didn't even notice the other one. Home to the future of the Isles and stuff. As the leader, the safety of Basha's subjects is paramount, and this is a suicide mission. After the Dang, they let them say suicide on the Disney Channel. Ugh, quiet. I don't need to hear that again. But Mickey's right. We're staying put. We may be able to get close by teleporting directly into the Titan skull. Does she remember the glyph combo? Wait, wait. Can you uh give me that one? Hmm? I'll put that one away. I'm a toy now. Ooh, are those all the coven heads? Yep. And Ida. Oh, oh, so Rain got toyified. That's actually kind of really scary. You gotta stop leaving your room. The collector thinks you're still in beast mode. Guess who King found? In a moment. Oh, hey, look at her hair. Drink this. I think Wait, I got it right this time. What did that mug say? Success? <laughs> Lily. What's that? It's actually Curse this mess. Nice. But Not her best mug, but you know, in the apocalypse, you take what you can get, right? Also, yeah, look at Lilith's hair. This guy? Oh, Hootsifer! Is he okay? Can he hear me? No, I'm not! Just look at me, Lulu! This fucking sucks! If the collector finds out you're lying, we could all turn into puppets for good. Also, I like that in the apocalypse, she's still got the tooth, right? I don't... I just miss Luz. I miss her too, kiddo. But she's in the human realm now with... You sure about that? At least loose I like these season three looks for both far, of them. I'm glad to see uh, Lilith with the red hair again. Uh, and then I just like Ida's fit. Aww. Aww. Keep it in. Keep it in. Oh, Willow. Oh. It's me when I watch. <laughs> me when I do reactions. Nope. <laughs> nope. Is that a dinner menu using veggies from the plant homeroom? Metholomew, you're actually a decent leader. Wow. Did you ever have any doubt in your mind? Yes. A little. <laughs> yes, very much. All right. Time to take a walk down memory lane. Oh. Once, I saw Philip, I mean, Bellows, use a glyph to teleport. To oh, shit. Yeah, they can just do it. Oh, God. Let's see it. How gnarly is this going to be? He nakey? Oh shit. No. It's like that or it's like rejecting him. Oh, that's fucking creepy. Well, I'm glad we're not going to get Hunter Hunter action here. Put that one over there. Oh shit, the puppets. No, 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 over there. Bellos could probably use so any of the puppets, you. right? Oh yes, I think you proved to be quite useful. Me? No. Oh. I, no, not rain. Anybody but fucking rain. No, don't do this to me. Oh, this sucks. Also, I thought we were about to get main villain Odalia for a second. Oh, it's so clear. We can use this to get to the skull. Finally. It's almost like somebody took a screenshot from an episode of the Owl House. Look, we just want to let you know we don't care who you're supposed to be, because you're one of us now. Hunter, are you okay? No, absolutely not. Oh no. Didn't mean to make things worse. Oh no. A self doubt. I've known you were a Grimwalker since the day of Unity. I was mm. waiting for you to bring it up yourself, but I, I, I don't know. Maybe if I weren't so afraid, none of us would be hurting right now. Wow. Gus, I. It's okay. You stay here. I'll find Willow. I was going to say, Hunter cried a little more in episode uh, one of the season. You have been nothing but petty and mean to me since I met you. Let's what? go. You want me to give up? You want me to admit how stressed I am? What advice could you possibly give me? Actually, I was going to advise you to watch your back. You never know when your opponent is going to strike. Oh, the other one. Oof, they're not coming back, are they? How big is that other one? Even also, wow, Basha sucks. Like, even more than she did. So the rumors were true. You were trying to stage a coup, little Metholomew. Who's yeah, voice actors? We I, I can't wait to see who's that voice that is. <laughs> it sounds familiar. No, not you. <laughs> Long time no see. 
Oh, it, that is Kiki Moore. I was going to say, the voice sounded familiar. I was like, I feel so dumb for not realizing that was Kiki Mora. Because I was like, you know, I, I guess that makes sense. Like, we've only ever seen her with a mouth covered. I made such a big deal uh, in clouds of saying, like, that's the first time we've seen her mouth. Uh, and then, like, when she was talking, I was like, this voice sounds so familiar. And part of me almost said, is that Kiki? Like, like a thought like in the back of my head and then it went away for some probably dumb joke that I made. <sighs> and then the other one, I should have seen it and I should have seen that it was an Obamaton. I feel really fucking stupid right now. This is the least Oracle I've been the entire fucking show. <sighs> At least I'm just disappointed in myself. I'm doing a bad job. This is like the first time I've been watching this show and thought, like, I am doing a bad job at this. <laughs> oh, Titan. The biggest L I've taken so far. Had to get one in before the end, right? I revoke my Oracle card. Until I have another genuine Oracle moment, I'm, gonna, I'm, a, I'm just like Willow. I'm going to doubt my abilities. <sighs> I'm not going to let this get my mood down. I'm going to enjoy the rest of the episode and... Try my best to be funny. Kikimura. What's that smell? Sleeping nettles. Uh oh. <laughs> oh damn, that's the same trick that Hunter and Luce played on Kiki back in Hunting Palisman. Oh god, I forgot about this. I fucking hate this. Please just like zoop out of Rain's puppet body and just go for the collector. My puppets are moving on their own. Broken. It was the uh, power of your kindness that brought me to life. So I could tell you. What is it? You're in danger, collector. And I love this, like, uh, Avi. I, for, I don't know how to pronounce the last name. Ro what Roque, I think. Kikimura? Are you working for the collector? The days of Kikimura the underling are over. Dare people into worship thing because she has no ideas of her own. Uh, but the point I was going to make, because this seems like this scene's going to go on for a while, but uh, uh, Rain's voice actor, essentially playing Rain, playing Bellos, pretty much, right? Like, uh, I watched this voice actor documentary once a long time ago that was talking about how great Mel Blanc was and that one of the best performances he ever did was in an old Looney Tunes episode. He had, he was voicing Bugs Bunny imitating Daffy Duck and Daffy Duck imitating Bugs Bunny yet the voices even though he voices all of those characters they still sounded like Bugs Bunny doing a Daffy Duck impression and Daffy doing a Bugs impression and just that's how good he was that he could even though he has these two voices that he does and is super good at he could still make them imitate each other and still sound like what it's supposed to be and that I always love when voice actors get a chance to do that kind of stuff so hearing rain kind of put on that s sinister calm bellows voice a little bit but still trying to sound like rain because it's bellows invading a rain puppet pretending to be rain but having the voice actor supposed to be rain being possessed by bellows trying to sound like rain but is still bellows and i know that was a lot of rains and bellows is just thrown all in there but it's just it's it was just a good performance for those couple lines and like just real good shit it got my my voice actor brain going and i loved that even if i still feel really fucking stupid about this kiki mora thing i'm off the kiki mora train i was back on it on clouds i'm back off i'm back off i'm off the wagon or i'm back on the wagon by being off the kiki mora train like like no i'm done i'm done with kiki mora for the rest of the show no more i promise Oh, was that one of the failed glyph combos from like way back at the beginning of season two when the ice glyph expanded out through the owl house? Oh, Amity, I already let you go many times. When you stopped hanging out with the group, when you left the Grudgeby team. Please come back. Oh, huh? huh? The Where? We can still be a team. Nah, really fuck her up. Her little crab palisman. Right. Yo. All right. A little illusion trick Augustus taught me. Nice. Good shit, Matt. Where's Amity? Huh? 
Now is is that Willow? I don't know if that's her her insecurities kind of. Oh. Damn, this is like a plot I would expect to see in like a a season one almost. Someone very close to you is planning their betrayal right now. You don't mean Kim, yeah, it right? sounds like Rain, but not Rain. Noticed, but he's my best friend. Well, the collector needs to be stopped for good, and I think I know a more permanent solution. A knife to the back. No, the human is here too. She's like Bellos, Bellos, right? Why is she back? Obviously, to help King put an end to you and your little games. No, 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 no! You're yeah, it's a lot deeper than Rain's like right? usual cadences, right? The collector is just a little kid, a scary powerful one, but also sad and alone. I think I can relate to him. Dang. Let me talk to him. Immortal being to semi-immortal being. It's and of course then, it's no when he's not hurt, watching them. Right? The king is saying all this. I messed up again. What are you talking about? I was going to say is her you egg in the hat. The demon realm, do you? Of course not. But you keep messing up? Messing up is a part of living. Yeah. You don't think I've ever messed up before? Ha! Okay, well, once I scheduled my wisdom tooth surgery the day before my wedding. Oh, then there was that time no. I rage and didn't realize I was cursing out your new principal. And, you know, I sold energy drinks it's for acceptable. a pyramid scheme for three years. No, not the pyramid scheme. So did Ida's mom. My biggest mistake was trying to protect you by changing this beautiful good witch into something she wasn't hmm. <gasps> is it happening i just realized something let's go why it took me so long to figure out the only thing i've ever really wanted was to be understood Aww. Ooh. it looks tight though is that what it looks like when a palisman comes to be what is it? What is it? What is it? A duck? Duck. 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 I don't know how much time is left in the episode, though. I ho really hope they don't, like, cut us off without us, like, seeing it. My heart's, like, pounding. Like... An orb? I can't control my own magic. I can't help my friends. Ugh, why have I been trying to be someone different? I'll always just be... No, oh, not back to this. Oh? Yo, the power was within him all along? Worse. You didn't do anything wrong. You guys mean the world to me, and I, I didn't know how to say that yet. Oh, I Willow. My dad's. Yeah. Also, hell yeah, that Hunter can still do that. It's awesome. Also, I teared up a little bit there. Still haven't full on cried yet at the show, but like, Hunter, I will I will pause right here before we go into it. But I was afraid that like my heart was still pounding after that potential palisman reveal. That when we were going into that emotional moment, I thought I was still gonna be like too on edge to like emotionally get into that. But like, man, once she started crying, it was just like, oh boy, if this carries on for like any longer, like I'm in danger myself. My eyes are just just a little red from it. Hunter, but I'm good. How did you do that? I need a better look at that palisman, though. The magic of Flapjack. <sighs> oh, it is kind of like Bellos, isn't it? Huh? He technically consumed. Sorry. <laughs> what the fuck is it? Loose has a staff. Why does that make me nervous? <laughs> it should. <laughs> is she just gonna demolish Kikimura? This is child's play for us. Oh fuck yeah, Gus. Oh, what did I miss? Huntlow hasn't been made official yet. You didn't miss that loose. Huh? Oh. I can't tell what you're gonna be, but Okay, so it's still not fully formed yet. Okay. Wait, did she give a name? Little friend, okay. I was just making sure. I didn't want to miss a potential name. I don't know if it names itself. But does the fireball teleport too? I guess not. Unless Luz got caught by it right at the end. Oh, that thing is like... What kind of magical creature will it be? A duck. 
They keep saying bird, though, so I feel like it's not going to be a bird. Ooh. Yo, is it like a shapeshifter? Is it everything? It's a... She's a snake shifter. Aw, that's cool. String bean. I love it. I guess I, I couldn't have predicted it at all. Thanks for what you said back there. You mean a lot to me, too. Aw. Oh, now he's going to let it out. Happy to help. The little little pinky swear handhold. Can't wait to show Ida and King. Oh, well, it's not a duck, but I love it. I mean, it could be a duck, right? Wow, and they still didn't meet up in this one. That is so surprising to me. Oof. Did I tell you? Luce has come to help King get rid of you for good. What will you do, Collector? Yeah, that even that that speech pattern was very very bellows. I think I play a new game. Oh boy, here we go. Okay, ooh, pictures for these credits. Kind of aw. Oh, so I guess we do get to see a little bit of. <laughs> oh, so it is all just drawn on, isn't it? Ah, okay, so that's. How Lilith got her new haircut. Aw, oh, that reflection in the water. Damn, those are some good pictures. I'm gonna do my best to remember to actually record this this time. When I did the when I did my screen recording for the last one, it cut off and I didn't really catch it until it was too late. Uh string bean. I am shocked that that word, to my knowledge, has not come up in any of the uh any of the comments throughout the whole show. People have been talking about pizza bagels, people have been talking about, you know, Crikey was was uh, commented so much it, way back to season one even people talked about pancakes uh like so many things have been hinted at here and there and it's it's hard to know what actually uh hey i guess my negging worked by the way back here <laughs> i usually don't acknowledge the sign but uh, uh we finally got my boy I, I get to think of something completely new to put on there for the last uh for the last episode ever since i started doing this it's always been braxis related uh, but uh i guess not for the next one right um, but, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so many little things have been hinted at, uh, throughout, throughout the run of the show, in the comments, right? Uh, you know, like I said, Flapjack, Crikey, uh, all the things, but String Bean, to my knowledge, has never popped up. Green beans, beans at all, like, it's, it's just not been a thing, so it's one of those things, like, kind of like the existence of V, I was just, like, super shocked that the name hasn't at least come up. Like, the Crikey thing happened, and I got upset. The pizza bagels thing happened, and I got upset. String bean happened, and I was just like, oh, look at it. Look at them. I love them. Um, so, I guess technically my prediction of duck is accurate because it can be a duck. Uh, it's it's kind of also really fitting for Luce, right? Uh, sh she wanted her palisman to be whatever it wanted to be, and it took that literally. <laughs> Uh, that it literally it hatched and it's it, it can do anything. I guess technically it could be an armadillo as well. So armadillo coven is real. Um, but uh, yeah, a snake shifter. That's that's really clever. Uh, I had uh, some of the reactions I watched had theories that it was going to be a snake just because there's you know way back in the first episode she was holding a snake. There was the whole thing about the snake skins in the last one. Um, so I guess they were kind of right, but also wrong at the same time. I'm glad it wasn't just a straight up animal, right? Like Amity's is basically just a cat. Uh, Flapjack was just a cardinal, basically. Uh, so I'm, I'm glad that it's something kind of mystical, right? It can be all of those things. Uh, but it's also its own kind of thing. I love it. It's, it's so loose, right? Uh, it's I'm I'm super ha I'm super happy with the design. Even though I was technically wrong, okay, I didn't have the best Oracle moment of all. Would have really fucking redeemed myself with the Kiki Mora thing that I was I was on earlier. But uh, hey, I love it. Um, I'm still super super shocked that we didn't get any meetup between Luce and Ida. But man, that reunion in the the finale, assuming it happens, is gonna be so so emotional, right? because we've been waiting now people who've been waiting for them to reunite because honestly the interactions between Ida and Luce are some of the best parts of the show right uh, and to basically like have that held from us for 
the however long it was between King's Tide and 301, then like the three or four months between that, and then it was like three or four months. I guess this was technically, I think this was the first, I need to check the air date, but this might have been, uh, this might have been the first episode that aired while I was recording reactions for the show. January 21st, 2023. So that was right around the time. I think I had, you know, now I got to go and I got to check my dates in here. I can see when I actually recorded my first one, if I can find it in here. I'm sorry this is a tangent that I'm going on and I'm taking forever to find this. I recorded my first one on uh, the 21st of January. So For the Future was airing right as I was watching and editing the first episode. So I think that's really, really cool um, that I've now essentially caught up to where I was when when I started the show. And I, I think that's that's just a neat little roundabout thing. I distinctly remember when the finale came out. It was Easter weekend, I think. And I remember posting on my community tab, like, to all of you watching the finale, I hope it's good. And now that I'm here, I hope it's good. Uh, uh, but yeah, I was I was impressed, most of all, I think, with uh, with uh, Avi Roque. I really hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. But uh, Rain's voice actor's performance, uh, they did a phenomenal job uh, playing you know i said all the bellows and rain stuff going on but oh what if what a fate worse than death to be turned into a puppet and then possessed by the the villain oh that's rough but like god that voice actor like even even the sentence was like i think they said uh you see now that he's going to betray you don't you collector and it's like that exact cadence of speech pattern that bellows would use when he would talk to because he would always say something and then he would pause before he would say collector and so, and Rain, like that voice actor, caught that perfectly. And I sure, I'm, I'm, I'm sure that goes all the way up to the voice director. Great job to the voice director there for really having uh, Avi nail those lines as possessed Bellos Rain, because uh, that was that was phenomenal. Like my favorite voice acting performance of the whole show, I think. Even though loose on any given day is incredible, uh, 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 that was that that was up there. That was so good. I loved that. Um, but yeah, just, uh, we now have everything set in place for a new collector game, and I'm just expecting pure chaos the entire time. They're all at the head, Bellos, Collector, Luce, everybody, they're all there. We, we finally brought everyone together in one kind of place, even though, you know, nobody's kind of met with, the groups haven't met up with each other yet, but they're all there at the head. So, I'm just, I don't even know what to expect, because with the Collector, anything can happen, right? Like, we saw just extreme like i said collectors pretend world right so anything can can happen next time so i don't even want to make any predictions because whatever i say is just going to be horribly horribly wrong um yeah so i'm just I, hey i'm just here for the ride uh i shockingly have little else to say about this one there's another well-written well-paced episode uh i felt that the jumps between when they did make jumps between you know, now that we had more groups to follow, uh, jumping from one to the other, it felt good. It didn't feel like one of my issues with King's Tide was we would cut between groups so quickly sometimes and it never had time for moments to kind of sit with you. This having a longer runtime did give those moments time to sit and marinate and for you to enjoy them and for them to have their impact and then move on. The biggest issue I had was that one time with the, the Palisman and my heart was just going and we cut to the emotional scene with Willow and I was just like, I want to see the Palisman. I want the string bean. And, you know, I eventually got into it with Willow, but it took a second. My heart rate was still elevated and, you know, I, I, I wanted to be eased into the Willow trauma. Glad she finally let it out. I'm glad nothing bad happened to her, or that her mistakes didn't lead to, like, something bad happening to somebody else. Uh, if anything, it led to a good thing. We realized that uh, 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 Hunter's Hunter has some innate magic now, with the power of Flapjack within him, living on within him. Uh, we knew that uh, we knew that that happens with after Bellos ate all those Palismans. He said, "I can hear their voices calling out to me." They stay with you, right? So I guess there's always going to be a little bit of Flapjack within Hunter and. In a weird inverse of the Bellos eating Palismans thing, it's like super wholesome, and I kind of really love it. Uh, that you know that it was such a special part of Hunter's life for such a short period of time, but now it gets to be with him forever, even if not physically within him. And I think that's really sweet, and I kind of love that. Um, 
So yeah, now I feel like I don't have anything else to say. Matt kind of cooked in this one. Uh, he was good. Uh, I've, you know, Basha still sucks. Kiki Mora still sucks. I know Kiki Mora is just, I've been up and down with her the whole show, but like, nah, she just, uh, she could, she could just be, I wanted Luz to just straight up, like, just like snap her finger and her palisman just like obliterates her. I'd be super interested to see what Luz can actually do having a palisman now, like how much magic she can actually do without having to use the glyphs. If it's just because I know there's innate magic within the palismans, right? So I'm, I'm wondering what all she can do or if she gets like one special kind of power thing, like how Hunter had the teleport kind of thing that he was kind of good at doing and that Flapjack kind of did for him now that he can do on his own. I wonder if Luce is going to have one special move, right? I guess we'll see. Uh, but hey, I know this is now the third time I've said I don't have anything else to say, but I am for real now done. So as always, uh, what did you think of this episode? What did you think of the reaction? Tell me anything you want to tell me. Give me some fake spoilers for that finale, because by the time you're seeing this on the made feed, I've seen it. I've edited it, and it's ready to go next week. On my birthday, by the way. Uh, hey, when this finale hits the main feed, it, it will be my actual ass birthday. So, uh, hey, just get ready to party next week. It's going to be real bittersweet, folks. One more to go. So, for the second to last time, I'll catch you next week with the final episode of The Owl House. Bye! I'm gonna miss it when it's gone.